I'm Dr. Khaled, and in this video, I will debunk nine of the most common myths about Ozempic and Wegovy. Things like, does it cause cancer? Is Ozempic face a real side effect? And is it only for diabetics? Ozempic, it is literally the hottest drug. It's a miracle. It's too good to be true. People like to think I took the easy way out. It's really frustrating to me. Let's dive into the very first one and most concerning question. Can these medications cause cancer? Now, this recent study found a potential link between semiglutide, which is the active ingredient in Ozempic, and Wegovy and thyroid cancer. The European Medicines Agency is currently investigating a link between these two as we speak. The research paper itself found that people using this medication for between one to three years have an increased risk of all types of thyroid cancer. And if you have a quick look at the Wegovy website, you'll quickly run into this warning label of the drug. This had previously been based on rodent studies that found that thyroid cancer rates were higher if they were given this medication. So this all sounds quite worrying. Should we stop using it all together. Well, it is concerning and the EMA, basically the guys who are in charge of drug safety in all of Europe, are looking into this as we speak. But let me explain why it's not as simple as it may seem. On the surface, if you look at it, it may sound straightforward. This drug has a potential cancer risk, then we should probably stop using it. Well, let's say hypothetically the occurrence of thyroid cancer is one in 100,000 every year. And if you take this medication, that increases your risk to say two in 100,000. It's still a very rare occurrence. But having obesity increases your risk of getting cancer itself. You may be surprised to learn that being overweight or obese can be linked with higher risks of getting 13 types of cancers. And these cancers make up 40% of all cancer diagnosis in the US every year. Have a look at the CDC website. It has some really worrying statistics on obesity. While thyroid cancer is one of the rarer types of cancers, it has one of the better prognoses, so usually survival rate for patients over 80%. So back to this hypothetical scenario where we have saved one extra case of thyroid cancer every year, we could potentially miss the chance to save hundreds of lives from other types of cancers every year. Or it could be even greater if you take into account that obesity is also linked with heart disease, stroke, diabetes, high cholesterol, and lots of other medical problems. Because we know that the medication can help people lose weight, it can also come down to the risk versus benefit scale in medicine. And when you're talking about the grander scale of you know treating thousands of patients, that's where it becomes important. This is why the regulators will have a look at it closely and it's a tough job to do and I don't envy their position because we know that if you can get a drug that reverses obesity and gets people into a healthy weight, then you are going to reduce so many of the other risk factors in their lives. Also, I think it's important to note that each individual patient has a different risk profile. Say somebody comes and they have a personal history of thyroid cancer or a family history of thyroid cancer, that person may not be the ideal candidate for Wigovi. Likewise, if a person who is not overweight, who is um, of a normal body mass in Index and they're doing it for cosmetic reasons, then you're putting yourself at extra risk for no reason. This is why it's so important to chat these through with your doctor to make sure it's safe for you and a proper plan is set up. Myth number two is you will need to take these medications forever. Well, we know that Wegovy and Ozempic are long-term weight loss treatments, but generally speaking, we won't have to be on them for life. With an appropriate management plan started by a doctor, it means that you'll slowly increase the dosages and then find a level that works for you. Weight loss is a complex process and the speed at which you see results will depend on lots of different factors like your starting weight, your genetics, your diet, your exercise habits. Your doctor will work with you to determine how long you should be on these medications and depend on how much weight you're losing. And if you're achieving a target weight and your weight is stable, then the aim would be always to get you off these medications. But remember, while being on these treatments, you should also be having a healthy diet and regular exercise. And that brings me nicely on to myth number three, which is you'll lose weight without any effort on these medications. Now, the viral TikTok videos have made Ozempic and Wegovy seem like a miracle drug that will sort out all your life problems and also do your washing downstairs as well. While it helps you to lose weight, it isn't a magic solution. You'll still have to put in the hard work and effort. The drug works by reducing your appetite. It doesn't really make you lose and burn fat immediately. That's kind of stuff you still have to do exercise for. So in general, what it does overall is it helps you stick to a low calorie diet. So if you're not eating as much as often and your cravings are decreased, 
and your feeling of fullness is increased, then you're eating less calories. Myth number four is only diabetics can use it. Ozempic is the name of the medication semi-glutide, which has been used solely by diabetics to help lower their blood sugars. And on the plus side, we found that they've lost weight, which is great actually, because that helps improve their general health. Now in February, 2022, NICE, which is the National Institute of Clinical Excellence, I believe in the UK. Nice. Proof Wegobi to be used for overweight adults. Wegobi is pretty much the same medicine, semi-glutide, but created solely for weight loss management for non-diabetics. There is still some criteria that you need to fulfill to be on these, and we'll get onto that a little bit later. On to the next myth, and that's Wegovi makes you feel terrible every single day. The most common side effect is usually things like nausea, vomiting, but it doesn't mean that you'll have them all the time. Not everyone experiences the same symptoms, and for some people, the symptoms will start and fade away after a few days or weeks, and for others, it will stay there all the time whilst they're using it. It's important to remember that medication come with possible side effect list. In this case, for Wegovy, I'll list all the possible side effects here. You can pause it and have a look at this. And you'll notice that a lot of these side effects are gastrointestinal, so the, the food pipe that goes through your body. This is partly to do with how Wegovy and Ozempic works. I did a video on exactly this topic a few weeks ago, so just click at the top if you want to have a look at that. As always, it's important to weigh up the risk factors before taking any medications and their possible side effects. No medication is completely side effect free. Up next is the boomerang effect. Do you just put on the weight after you stop these medications? So the injection isn't a magic wand that was created at Hogwarts by Harry Potter. It's a medicine, semaglutide, as we've talked about. Now, experiencing weight gain after we go be can happen if you don't follow the diet and lifestyle changes changes that you adopted while you were taking it. When you stop semiglutide, your normal appetite levels and feelings of fullness may return. So if you want to avoid that weight gain, it's really important that you exercise regularly, have a healthy diet, more the kind of things we talk about. This is why it's so important building those healthy habits along using this medication rather than just depending on the medication. Because one day, as always, the aim would be we would get you off these medications and then you can just continue with your lifestyle. Myth number eight is everybody can use it. Well, no doubt there has been non-prescribed uses of the drug for people who have seen it in the US and all over celeb magazines and things like that. But a lot of people have jumped on that bandwagon without knowing what should be the right usage of it, or even some of the side effects and some of the risks about taking it. Wigovi is a prescribed medication and your doctor will consider factors like your body mass index, your medical history, your other medications you're taking to determine whether it's safe for you to take. Wigovi is only recommended for people who have a body mass index over 30 or if you have a body mass index of 27 or higher, but also have weight related health issues like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, those kind of things. It's not really an over the counter medications where you can just pick up and start taking it. It's important before you start using it, you tell your doctor, if you're pregnant or planning to become pregnant or have kidney issues or a family history or personal history of thyroid cancer. On to the final myth, which is you'll get a Zempic face. Does everyone get it? Well, we know that taking a Zempic has had some reports of unusual symptoms like a hollowed out appearance of people's faces, more wrinkles and lines across making them look older and loose saggy skin. But the so-called azembic face phenomena isn't exactly an adverse reaction of the drug. Well, not in a technical way. You see, anyone who has a massive quick weight loss can start to have some of these features, irrespective of whether you took a Zempic or you just took up like marathon running or something like that. You may have had friends who have lost weight and then they would get that kind of flappy skin around their stomachs. And that saggy skin can happen anywhere, including on the face. And the quicker you lose weight, the more pronounced that can sometimes be. Click on the next video in which I explain everything about Azempic and Wigovi face and the best way to try and prevent it. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a lovely day. Peace out.